Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on how to rearrange and change the apps on your app shelf when you're using a Google Chromebook. My name is Tyler Osborne. So the app shelf is this black bar at the bottom of your screen for the uh, Chromebook. So we can change the icons that show up here and we can rearrange them. Now rearranging them is the easiest part. If you say want a Gmail to be further to the right, you just click on it. Um, it's a left click or one finger. And then with the other finger, you drag it over to the order where you want it. So I actually liked where my Gmail was, so I'm going to leave it there and let go. When you're done dragging, you let go and it sticks where it is. Now you can remove things from the shelf by right clicking on them or two finger tap. And then you can go to unpin and it will remove that app from the shelf. So I don't need that Google Plus there anymore, so I'm going to press unpin and it's gone. Now to add more apps, you need to go to the bo uh, bottom left-hand corner. On some Chromebooks, this looks like a um, magnifying glass. On this particular Chromebook, it's just a circle. So let's click it. Now it brings up um, the app drawer. This app drawer has a bunch of different icons on here, and these are your most frequently used or last used ones. If you wanna see all your apps, you press the All Apps button. Now I have all the apps here, but I also have a second page. Do you see how I have a gray bar beside the blue one? If I press that, it takes me over to the second page. So let's say I wanted to put Google Keep, or I already have Google Keep there. Let's put Google Sites onto my app um, shelf. I'm gonna click, left click, and with the other finger, drag it down until I have it in the position that I want. So let's say I want it beside Keep, and then I let go. And now it is pinned to my app shelf and it'll always be there when I restart the computer or when I go on to other computers or other Chromebooks. So that's all you need to know on how to um, add and rearrange and remove apps from your app drawer or sorry, from your app shelf. Thanks for watching.